my friends this is Gabriela Stardust and like you can see it is already Wednesday February the 28th 2018 it's 1 59 in the middle of the night and I'm working right now on my second part of the clip with explanation to the two clips I have taken just two weeks ago um, before I start here, I would have to say a little something here and just give me a moment. Okay, my friends, uh, what you see right now in front uh, of your eyes um, on your screen is uh, the end of the first um, part clip uh, where I did explain to you guys what was actually the glowing part here on the bottom. And you see it is still glowing out here. It have its own light. And here behind the chemtrails, you see already the sun actually. It looks like the sun is coming out here because you see this really bright light here. But the sun was not out at this time. It was just a glowing. It did look like, like the sun or the sun simulator was sending some white light out. And glowing into the area and that this object which was here on the horizon and have its own light source and is glowing like you can see here but not as much as the sun from the top it's uh, less bright but almost the same white color it have an aurora around it here like you can see but this part here is not belong to the glowing from the upper part where the sun will come out in a little bit this part here is the glowing part from the object we captured here on the bottom but anyways my friends um i have to mention it again uh, please uh, make sure you get the disaster app. Um, you will get notification for earthquakes, volcano activities, flood warning, uh, wherever it is. Uh, there is very cold and snow in UK right now uh, in places where it never was as cold as uh, so much snow uh, before. We have a whole bunch of draft areas uh, in Africa, South Africa and other places where there are hope so bad that it will rain because uh, they are running out of water, these people. And I feel very sorry for them. It's, it's really um, another disaster, actually. Um, I have seen pictures from the Antarctica and uh, how fast is actually the Arctic ice melting. What I have seen within 50 years, how much ice actually was there and how much ice uh, actually is gone and melted away. My friends, this is scary. I have another actually report uh, uh, seen uh, yesterday or day before where uh, somebody was posting uh, on YouTube actually another um, um, short clip of uh, disorientated birds. There was hundreds of birds and birds that was landing somewhere on the gas station. And on another clip you could see hundreds and thousands of birds are flying um, over a city um when there was asked uh the actually the people that live there um if they have seen that before some of those people they were saying oh this has happened all the time uh we have seen this before so actually you know it seems like that was not uh an uh occurrence um which which just popped up uh, it was happened before, so um, I cannot say anything about uh, 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 this report. Um, another report was actually uh, out yesterday, because right now it's already the 28th um, and not the 27th no more. But I'm still sitting here and working on the second uh, uh, part in my clip. There were uh, a whole bunch of uh, um, 
whales stranded again, uh, um, hundreds of them, uh, uh, and they was counted, and uh, there are no whale calves. It was just elderly uh, uh, female and male uh, um, whales. They were stranded there and, and found dead. Another report was uh, recording again about thousands of fishes are dead laying at the beaches and without any signs of illness or other trauma, uh, um, traumatic uh, injuries or whatever, where well, nobody really know right now why these things are a cure. So um, the last report uh, I want to mention here right now is the report I have heard yesterday at a new channel and there was a talking about, um, I think it is Virginia, it was one of those bases where they have found, um, I don't know how that actually could happen, but they was talking about a mystery uh, mail letter uh, and after they have found it and uh, it was discovered somehow somewhere i'm not so sure uh, they reported it over 11 people uh, got sick in a very short time very fast so uh, i do not have any more um, report or i cannot say any more on this uh, uh, report here uh, is it Antrax again? Uh, we have an Antrax back uh, and we have to worry about that right now. Another report was uh, from another uh, channel and a friend of mine. Uh, he have reported a couple of days ago from some kind of sources he have and he said this, was, this source is very uh, uh, credible. And he mentioned about uh, uh, March the 28th to April the 6th, where actually uh, we might be could get attacked in the United States by a cyber attack, and which might be planned from North Korea. So uh, you see, we have a lot of things going on, a lot of reports, um, how credible and, and if these dates are, you know, good dates or, or just some dates somebody was thrown out, I cannot say it. It was not my, you know, source. Um, it was a source of a friend. But he said, like I stated before, you know, it's a credible source. So we will see, keep those dates in mind. And like I said, and I mention it again, my friends, please make sure that you get the disaster app as an app on your cell phone. Uh, you'll be notified uh, about uh, uh, occurrences. And this is a pretty good one, uh, the disaster app. I have put it out on Facebook, like I said already before. Um, right after something happened, there is a volcano outbreak or an earthquake or whatever. A couple of minutes later, uh, you will have it on your phone. And uh, it is the fastest app actually I ever have seen uh, to be actually notified of those uh, events. So make sure you have that because, you know, you never know in what area you are and what happened in your area. So make sure you get it so you'll be notified, you know, when you're away from home. You cannot reach radio or news or whatever. So you have your cell phone the most time with you. Make sure you get it. Okay, uh, let us go on here with the rest of this clip here and then I will show you the new clip. So like I mentioned it before in my clip part one, those two light sources, the one came out from above behind the chemtrails and the clouds, the dark ones you see here in this picture. And this was one light source and the other light source came from the horizon where we have seen the, the, the bright spot and the bright big round object uh, which I captured and I have also shown you in my clip number one. So they melted together and like I said uh, it was very weird. On top on the round area here you can see this white bright round round uh, a spot there 
where I first saw it, it was the sun uh, which came out from the uh, chemtrails but it was not the sun actually come out here a little bit later you know from above in this area it was first a very small round uh, uh, appeared like a very small round object and then it got brighter and brighter and melted together with the light but like I said uh, and like you can see here in this clip again and I'm very sorry I did not mention it you know when I made the first clip because I was not so sure two weeks ago what I actually have captured what happened in this picture uh, because I was so convinced it was uh, a reflection from the sun from above which we could see in the water but um, after evaluating my clip and talking to other people and to other photographers and to other people who are really very familiar you know with with the sun with reflection and all like that uh, led me to believe uh, 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 and therefore I did made this clip here the first one and the second one and um, I don't know my friends I am not here to convince you on anything but I had to tell you again and I have to point it out again after we did evaluation on these clips and you see it here it is coming out here and it's getting brighter and brighter in a little bit. You see some other little spots here. You can see it around objects. These are not clouds and these are not reflections uh, 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 into the clouds as round balls, round objects. My dear friends, this is uh, all bull crap. Don't let nobody tell you um, that this is nothing that that is just you know some clouds or whatever they will try to tell you um we have so many trolls uh in in the internet on the social medias and they get paid uh, uh, for that to looking at those clips and find those clips and um discredit those clips and ridiculous those clips this is their job therefore they get paid to make other people believe it is all just a big lie a big conspiracy you know we are just fear-mongering that's not what we're doing my friends we don't have no i mean we don't get paid for that you know what I mean? There is no reason for us, for all the truth seeker. There is no reason for us to tell you some kind of stories. Uh, 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 what might be is there and then it is don't. Why should we do that? There is no reason for that. What we are looking for and searching for is the truth. <coughs> Excuse me. Every one of us uh, have the right to see the truth and believe the truth and 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 know what's going on in our skies we've been lied to for so many years every day every day you know whatever you turn the tv on you turn the, turn the radio on whatever you look into it the most of it you know there are lies and for sure they keep the truth away from us because they don't want an hysterical outbreak because the social everything the social media it would break down every part every state <laughs> in the country and other countries uh, people would run out of the streets uh, they would not go to work no more I think they would stop doing from now on if they would know and they would believe what is going on. They would live their life in a different way, you know, and, 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 and spend more time with families and working is one thing. We all have to work for our living, but uh, working to the last day of our lives just to keep us, 
you know, in place so that we do not run around like wild uh, a chicken or chicken without a head. I mean, give us a break here. You know, we all grown individuals. We all can think by ourselves. We all know to a certain part, you know, what it is right and what is wrong. But let me stop here right now because you see, you know, I have um, zoomed in here right now. The sun came out. You see now the white color again here reflecting into the ocean, into the water. The color changed uh, um, on top on here to very dark red and pinkish in this area. You see, you know, the halo all the way to here to the side. A little bit to the bottom but you see how funny actually the sun looked and that's why I said <coughs> the sun looks like a bird the only thing what is missing on top would be the head but anyways my friends uh, I will stop here right now because you know you have seen the glowing you have seen the other object you have seen the melting from above from the sun or from the sun summer later into the bottom part where the other object was captured from myself and now we will go on and i will show you another uh, um, clip i took uh, uh, one day later or two days later the same time under the same condition and it is not there it is not there what we have seen in this clip here it's the same conditions but totally different without this object present I let this run here just for another minute because you just could have seen here on the bottom a round little object which actually appeared like our sun. Um, it was our sun. What is left here is already this glowing here in the sky. You see some objects here in this area. And this is right now here, where the sun is going down. There you see this glowing again, how it had to look and how it looked when the sun actually comes down and goes down. That's the way it looked and not what we have seen earlier in the picture by 330 in this other part of my clip here. This clip here is from the 17th of February 2018. Just a couple days later but under the same conditions. You can see the sun is almost um, behind those clouds because the clouds came in from the uh, west northwest side and I uh, recorded it. I was waiting actually till uh, the clouds were right in front of the sun. Uh, the same condition, the same way like uh, I recorded it where we have seen the glowing object um, on the horizon. It is the same time the same time, the same time like I recorded uh, uh, the other clip with this glowing uh, at the horizon. You can see, you know, the skies are bright. They're still on the horizon. You see still an open spot back there. A lot of people actually, they have been out. You see this uh, reddish, reddish pinkish area here. Where I was wondering actually, you know, where it came from, why it was, why it had this color, why it was so pinkish reddish, because like I said, the sun is up here in the area, it's high up here, it's shining out, you can see the rays coming out here, this is what we actually expect when the sun is up there. And in a little bit, I will show you how it looks in the water when the rays come out and they are shining into the into the water, how it looks. So here at this time, uh, on the 
17s um, where I just told you uh, same condition as a couple of days before you can see the sun rays coming out there you know how high the sun actually is behind the clouds we had a lot of uh, people at, uh, at the beach at this day and uh, you can see how the sun rays are shining out of the clouds very bright very bright clouds you know it's very bright and how it looks here in the water when there the rays are shining out and shining right onto the water but you see there is nowhere nowhere and this is the same time as the couple of days earlier where I captured this very bright object on the horizon there is not such a way not such occurrence here in the water like it was there you can see those rays you can see glowing in the water and there is a reflection in the water but there is nowhere to n not one time to no time where I was recording this one here um, any glowing or any bright object coming from the horizon up and was glowing and was sitting there for 45 50 minutes like in the other clip here on some part you can see 